So, um, guess who um, saw Hamilton yesterday? Oh, wait. It was me. So here's my review. <sighs> and I'm back. So, Hamilton, it's class. Like, to be honest, not one of you were expecting a different answer other than it's class, and guess what? It was. If I'm completely honest, it's very, very similar to the version on Disney+, Plus, just with different actors. This is, you, you can tell probably some of like the American original choreographers were probably involved in putting the show together, because it's very, very similar. Not many things are vocally changed, not many lines are changed, you know, there are a couple of things here and there, but this is very, very similar, even down to choreography. But yeah, if you like that version, you're gonna like this one. And obviously, moments hit you harder, because instead of on a screen, it's on a stage. And of course, as all my stagey people know, moments hit you harder on the stage. There were some standouts, uh, Washington, Burr, and King George are the three that come to mind. Those three were my standouts, but overall, everyone was fantastic. Apart from one problem, which I'll talk about tomorrow. Yeah, those are my base thoughts. Now, here's me, in the morning, with more sleep and my in-depth thoughts. So, I have slept, um, and I have, I've seen Hamilton. I've seen Hamilton, it's, it's been a long, long, long time. So let me tell you a story. Um, I was first booked to see this in August last year, but then because of the pandemic, that got moved back, and then theatres haven't really been open. So we finally got a date that we could do it. So then I was gonna go see it this August. Um, that was August the 18th, um, just to then get an email from Hamilton telling us that they're going to reschedule to the 19th. In terms of not reschedule me, but that's when their the first performance will be. Um, luckily, we managed to sort out tickets so I could come literally very early September. Um, so, fantastic. Yeah. Good. So, what are my overall thoughts? If I'm honest, it's quite tough to review this, because I have pretty much seen this exact show just with different actors. Because guess what, if you want to know what the West End version is like, it is very, very, very similar down to choreography. They've, they've changed very, very little from the original filmed Disney Plus version. And therefore, the, the original Broadway run, as you presume, not many people have managed to see the Broadway run. And therefore, it's it's the same version, really. This company really haven't changed that much. And I, rec I you get the feeling that the American original creators were very much involved in bringing this show to life. And that makes it tough to review, because mostly, apart from criticising the actors, I'm pretty much reviewing the same product. Let's talk about the actors and what they brought to it, because obviously that's going to be the main difference between productions, is that the actors are different. First of all, all the ensemble smash it when they come into their different roles and they're singing and they're dancing like you expect it, but the ensemble is fantastic, I couldn't pick out a weak link there particularly. And then as part of the cast, it's very hard because, with this show especially, because not only they're part of the soundtrack, but also as part of the film's Disney Plus version, the original actors, the Lynn, Philippa Sue, Chris Jackson, they're very, very synonymous in these roles for me. So it's tough to talk about these new actors. If you're talking standouts, I think the burr in the West End is absolutely fabulous. Nails the big songs, nails the quieter moments. The burr is perfect. Washington obviously has the big song of One Last Time. Um, and all of those songs and the, the Washington is oh beautiful. Sometimes when I watch the film's version, I feel like King George takes too long away from the main action without adding to it. However, on stage, King George works a lot better for me because it's, it's just so funny live. There's an energy from King George that you don't get as much on Disney Plus than you do on stage. And that was helped by the fact that this King George was absolutely magnetic. I also think who played um, Peggy and then transitioned into Mariah. Um, roles that aren't necessarily throw away, but of the big ten, that's the smallest stage time apart from maybe King George. But she made a brilliant impression. I thought she was really, really good. 
and the Angelica. The Angelica was fantastic. The Angelica really, really. She just Angelica's such a tough role because of some you have to be one of the best singers in the cast, and you have to like, like be just as good at rapping as the boys. Angelica was fantastic. Now, I'm going to talk about two characters. One of which I think some elements of the performance I didn't like, and one that I think could have been better. Now, what could have been better for me is Lafayette Jefferson. As David Diggs proves, if you get the roles of Lafayette and Jefferson right, you can be one of the best characters in the show. Which kind of irritated me, because here, the Lafayette and Slash Jefferson wasn't actually bad, like I couldn't pinpoint where I actively disliked his performance. But with a role that's just this magnitude, he just didn't quite pop as much as I would have liked him to, if I was honest. Now we're going to get to the big one, and this is where I need people who've seen the West End one. Help me out, help me out, talk me through this. I was not convinced by first act Eliza. Just for context, no, they don't swap halfway through. There's, there's a point coming. What I'll say is in Skylar Sisters, in Helpless, um, I didn't feel like the Eliza could deal with the more faster, upbeat stuff. It always felt a little bit like she was struggling to keep up almost, like she couldn't deal with the fast pace. It wasn't... Notes were, weren't necessarily gotten there, but it felt like they weren't at the height of what the original Eliza could do. Obviously it's tough to beat Pippa Sue, but it just wasn't quite there for me. In the second act where you get a lot more of like emotional, like the slower Eliza stuff, she worked a lot better um, because I think that, that that fit more with her style of singing and, and, and how she's probably been trained. But I just didn't believe her in things like the Skylar Sisters and Helpless, and those are, those are, those are big, big songs not to believe an actress for. Again, if you've seen it, you, people probably disagree with me. I remember criticising Alexandra Burke, and I had people in the comments going, Alexandra Burke, great. Um, but this is opinion, and it's theatre, and theatre shouldn't always be about, oh, everything's perfect, every actor was great. It's about discussion, and that's what we're having. As I said, there isn't actually much more to talk about, because, as you know, I really, really like Hamilton. I like the soundtrack, and the, the, the soundtrack is present. I liked the staging in the Disney Plus version, and this is that staging. Of course, it's brilliant, brilliant to see it live. But it's that show, and I've already told you that show's fantastic, and it's translated really well here. But with the added bonus of seeing the, the thing you love, the staging you love, the thing you love being so similar, live. However, a lot of people are on shoestring budgets. And the West End is not cheap, and while I wouldn't actually tell you that Hamilton is much, much more expensive than most of the West End shows, because Hamilton's probably similar to the top, top West End shows that know they can sell out audiences. But, if, for example, you're considering seeing this show, but you maybe don't have the money for it. Or for example, you're deciding between two shows that you're really fond of the soundtracks for, and you really, really can't make up your mind. I'm not sure this show is worth it. Now, if you are a massive, massive Hamilton fan, which to be fair, I was, and I don't want to come away, people come away thinking I'm giving this a negative review. I am being very, very positive because it's the show that I love live in the flesh in front of me. Oh, but like I said, if you're deciding between seeing two shows that you love the soundtracks for quite equally, and you've only got the money for one of them, I would say see the other one because you've already got some of that experience. However much it's plussed by the live experience, I'd say go experience another show just to get that complete new experience. Then, if you're a mega fan of Hamilton, see it because it's here, it'll have the elements you love, you'll clap, you'll whoop, you'll laugh, you'll cheer, you'll probably cry, I teared up, I teared up, um, Washington got me, and then Act 2 Eliza got me, um, the, the, the obvious points. Um, 
Thanks for watching. This review's been a bit of a mess, but I hope you can understand that it's very hard to review something that's very similar to a version you've already seen. So if you're interested in other um, live theatre things I've seen, um, there is a playlist up there. Um, so that's Joseph, that's Be More Chill, that's Come From Away, um, that's Doctor Who Time Fracture, if you're interested in that. Also, I have loads of other Hamilton videos. Um, I usually have links to loads of Hamilton videos in the description. Um, I've just released a Hamilton video, so overall, it's Hamilton galore on the channel again. That being said, I'll stop taking up any more of your day. Oh wait, no, um, I'm going to take up more of your day because you've um, already clicked on one of those videos. Um, so th thanks, bye.